Hey, hello, welcome back. Um, if you found your way here, you're lost and I'm calling the police because you're trespassing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, you can stay, you can stay, but don't touch the grass. Don't walk on my grass, okay? Got it? <laughs> so this week we're going to be doing um, a little video that was started by Emily Hanhan, and I know how to pronounce it now. I'm pretty sure that's how. If you're watching this, I love you and I'm sorry. And Teresa is dead. Uh, they're both really cool. You should check them out. I'll link them down below and whatnot. Um, they're the ones who created this video. It's a collab between the two of them. They're super cool. I love them so much. I keep saying that, but it's really true. They're awesome. Go check them out. Really, really do. But chances are, if you found your way to me, then you already know of them. You already know of this collab. That's why you're clicked on my video. And kudos to you. It's an awesome collab. So basically what it is, it's, it's called New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. And there's a bunch of little bingo cards. I'll link those down below too, but they're also on their channels if I don't do that because I might not be able to figure out how to. But anyway, <laughs> this is coming from someone who works with computers for a living, but yikes. <laughs> Anyway, the concept is there's a bunch of bingo cards and you basically go through new makeup releases and you check off which ones are on the bingo card. It's that simple basically, but it's not simple. It's it's a game. It's fun. I'm going to do it. So let's get into it. Quick note before we start anything, um, Emily and Teresa have a preset list that they go through like they already know which ones are on the list of like possible ones that they could pull I'm not that cool <laughs> so I don't have that I have trend mood account trend moods account up and I'm just going to be scrolling through them and whatever I land on I'll consider that like the little bingo ball that you'd get if you were playing actual bingo also as a note Look at this adorable Labrador Retriever mug my mom got me. I love him. <laughs> and let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I landed on was the Persona Cosmetics Identity 2 eyeshadow palette. Now, I'm going to call this a basic AF neutral palette because it mostly has neutrals except for like a little pop of red and like a gold shimmer. Woohoo. I still consider that a neutral. It's nothing revolutionary. I've heard great things about Persona Cosmetics, but I'm personally not into their aesthetic. If you are, let me know why and what you think, but I'm definitely going to call it a basic AF neutral palette. And if you're wondering why I look down and over here, it's because I have the little bingo card pulled up. I don't have it printed or anything because that would be weird <laughs> but i have it pulled up and i'm definitely going to call this a basic af neutral palette if you like them cool i'm not into it but we'll move on the next thing i landed on was the morphe x jeffree star second round collaboration and it's a giant i think 30 pan palette yeah it's 30 pans it's 35 dollars and i'm going to put this under the another huge ass Morphe palette. I think they actually have it as another oversized Morphe palette on the little bingo card, but I'm gonna call it a huge ass palette because 30 shades is too much for me. I tend to think if you're over 16 shades, that's a little bit on the much side for me, but maybe it's just because I'm not creative and I like to have more of a defined color story. But even then, I like a small color story, but very varied, so I don't know. Um, someone on our Discord chat, or not our Discord chat, um, Teresa's Dead's Discord chat, pointed out that the top row looks very similar, so I'm personally not going to be getting this, but out of all of the things that he's ever released, and Morphe too, for that matter, this is the one thing that's kind of got me like, ooh, it's pink with some greens, like... That's kind of what I'm into. It doesn't have a blue. I hate the color blue on me. It looks horrible. Absolutely god awful. But when I saw this one, I'm like, it doesn't have a blue. It has those pinks and it has two greens that I'm kind of into. So we'll see, but I'm probably not going to be picking this up. It's too big for me and I'm not sure my feelings on Jeffree Star. I'm just going to leave it at that. It, I don't hate him, but like, I'm not going to support him either. So we'll move on. I've hit it. I've hit a Jenner. 
cool. I have hit the Ky I don't know why I did that. I have hit the Kylie Cosmetics birthday collection 2019. Now, am I wrong or did she literally just release her summer collection? Or maybe that was months ago and I'm just behind on the times and can't keep track of dates, which is totally possible. I'm kind of a mess in that way. <laughs> but I saw this and I'm not gonna lie, the palette looks interesting. I do, it's again, it's the pink with a pop of green. I, weird that they came out at the same time as the Jeffree Star one that I just talked about, but I actually really like it. I like the concept of pink with a pop of green. Sue me. Go ahead. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to throw this under millennial pink packaging. I feel like Kylie's whole aesthetic is millennial pink packaging. She's a millennial, I'm pretty sure. Maybe she's not. I consider her a millennial, but she's probably on like Gen Z terms at this point. I don't know. <laughs> But I'm going to put that under there. I'm- the palette's cute, I'm not gonna lie, but Kylie Jenner is again one of those people where I'm not sure how I feel about her and how, about her brand and I've heard like mixed reviews and I'm just not going to get into it, so I'm going to pop 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 pass on that bad boy. Yikes. Okay. I landed on the Jackie Ina palette, and a lot of people have mixed feelings about her. I once again do, but I don't- I don't like talking about my feelings on influencers and like which ones I support or not. On here, maybe I will in the future, I don't know, but I'm not too keen on her for a couple of reasons. Petty Page just did a video which really summed up my views on her pretty well, <laughs> to be honest, but I just saw her collection with ABH. I don't like it. I don't like it. There we go. I said it. It looks like every other ABH palette in the universe. I don't know. It's not original. I know she has like this whole thing of, oh, well, it's made for like deeper skin tones. And like, that's cool. But like at the same time, it's not interesting. You know, it's cool that it's made for someone with a deeper skin tone. No qualms about that. Like, that's fabulous. But at the same time, it's boring. But okay. <laughs> I'm going to put this under a new influencer slub brand. I know it's not her brand, but I'm just going to put that there because her branding's all over it. And I feel like when you do a collab with someone, you kind of make their brand your brand for one palette or one, you know, collection. So I'm going to put that there. I don't like it. I wouldn't pick it up, but hey, more power to you. I've hit a Jenner again. I can't believe this. I got Kylie Skin. Woohoo! This obviously goes under makeup brand making skincare. Um, if you haven't seen it, everyone roasts Kylie Skin. Uh, I've never tried it. I know that walnut scrubs are bad, but like they might be good for you, like your body, not your like sensitive face skin though. Don't don't do that. Never tried Kylie Skin, but I did land on her hydrating lip mask. That totally seems up her alley more than like actual skincare. Hydrating lip mask sounds like fancy lip balm basically. Um, if you don't already have a great lip balm, the Jack Black lip balm, the one that comes in the little blue squeezy tube, amazing. I am a dry ass bitch <laughs> and that is the only thing that saves my lips. So if you're looking for a really great lip balm, that'd be it, not this lip mask. I don't even know what you do with a lip mask. I feel like I just end up eating it off my lips. Like if I was drinking or eating pizza or doing something, it would just be disappearing. It would be a waste of money. I don't think I'm gonna get it. I don't know if anyone needs to get this to be completely honest, but we'll move on anyway because I don't have much more to say about that. I've hit the Melt Cosmetics liquid lipstick collection. Um, these actually look really kind of cute. I like that they're deeper browns more than like a- I feel like when people say nude, they mean like a beigey color. There's not really great nudes for people who are super pale, and there's not really great nudes for people who are super dark. Um, I'm a case in point in that. I can never find a nude lipstick that looks good on me. I think it's because everything that's marketed for pale skin is very, very pale, and it looks kind of funky with my black hair. I'm going to blame that, because I don't- I can't think of anything else that's giving me such a problem. But I'm going to put this under another liquid 
lipstick because it is it's another liquid lipstick but it does look beautiful i think the market was kind of missing some of these shades so that's nice to see there's five shades they're all you know darker browns which is nice to see um melt has been in some drama lately with the whole moldy palette thing i don't think it's actual mold they were saying it's like some binder but either way it shouldn't have been happening you need to fire your chemist if that's the thing because <laughs> that's gross i freak out anyway scrolling on I finally got something that I'm pretty excited about. These are the new Kaleidos Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. They have the neon and the electro tor turquoise. <laughs> turquoise, it's turquoise. I'm so smart. <laughs> and I'm going to put these under rainbow palettes because they're kind of rainbowy, especially the neon. It's missing obviously the blue and the purple on the neon one, but I'm going to call it that for fun and for bingo's sake. Um, these are actually really interesting to me. I think the neon one especially is such a small, compact, but nice color story that you could get a lot out of. So I'm interested in them. I've never tried them. If someone has tried them, can you tell me if they're good? <laughs> I've heard that they're good, but I want to hear it from like someone I actually know and not like a influence. I don't, I, mean, I feel mean saying that because I mean, I don't distrust all influencers, but I want to know from someone like, I actually like, can talk to about it, not someone who probably wouldn't respond if I asked them a question in their comments or something. So if you do know, please tell me because these actually really interest me, especially the neon one. And I don't even wear colors that much, but like, it interests me. I'm going to put it under rainbow palette. Sue me. I've landed on a holiday 2020 or holiday 2019. It's not 2020 yet. I don't want it to be 2020. I've landed on a holiday 2019 collection from MAC and it's a sneak peek of their lipstick. Uh, it's July. No, it's not. It's August. It's August. It feels like July because it's so damn hot here. It's literally like a hundred something degrees. I, I wish I was joking. <laughs> I really do. If I seem like dewier than normal, it's my new makeup, guys. It's my new luminous foundation. No, it's because I'm a sweaty bitch. So anyway, it's for their holiday 2019 collection. It's a purpley lipstick with stars on the side. This is going to go under limited edition because I bet my ass it's going to be a limited edition thing. It's not sticking around. I have mixed feelings on MAC. I'm personally not cruelty free and if you want a video explaining that or like some post explaining why I'm not cruelty free, but the basis goes into, I work in a laboratory and I do use data from animals. Uh, I don't test on animals myself. That's not my thing. I'm a computer science kind of person, mathematics. I just sit in a desk, but the data I use is collected from animals and it's a fully certified biomedical lab. It's not like some weird serial killer operation or anything like I actually work in a veterinary biomedical setting and I do take data from animals so I understand the reasons for animal testing when it's necessary which is why I'm undecided about animal testing in cosmetics because sometimes I do believe it's necessary but sometimes I don't and so I'm kind of mixed I'm personally not cruelty free but I do stay away from non-cruelty free brands if that makes sense so this doesn't really interest me whatever goodbye it's a color pop release yay i've hit it again <laughs> it's basically the free space on this bingo card for a reason um they're always releasing something i have never bought from color pop fun fact um i'm one of the few people in this universe it feels like um i'm not like the other girls <laughs> no i'm exactly like the other girls don't ever say that pro tip uh, i'm exactly like the other girls i love shiny things and this does tempt me because it is the strawberry collection and i love pink eyeshadow this is like a pinky red sort of vibe with like some silver stone in it's really pretty i'm not gonna lie it's really cute really fun I like it. I would consider it, to be honest. I've considered making this my first Colourpop order, which is so bad, but so good. Oh, I love it. Okay, <laughs> that's my opinion on that. <laughs> my very last thing is the OPV Tropical Dreams or Tropical Vibe. I can't tell which one is which. Eyeshadow palette. Um, it's 18 shades for $36, which is not bad at all. 
it's honestly really beautiful the greens and the blues and everything i don't like blue on myself but i love it on other people um emily hanhan can rock a blue like no one else like she's beautiful in it um it just looks terrible on me it looks like i'm a drag queen which i love drag queens hold up don't ever accuse me of not liking drag queens i love them I just don't want to look like one on the daily basis. I've never found a blue that works for me. Um, if you think blue would work on me and you know the perfect blue, go ahead and tell me because it's been a decades long search. <laughs> I cannot find it. I'm exaggerating, but still. I've never found a blue that looks really beautiful on me. I don't know why. I think it's again because of the pale skin, dark hair combo where like playing with colors can get a little scary for me because I'm so pale. So, I don't know if you find one that you think, but I'm going to go with half neutral, half colorful because although these are pretty like colorful fun shades, there's also like some oranges and browns I consider more neutral. And so this is going to be my last thing. It's really pretty though. I would consider it. I think it's something new and something different. It reminds me a lot of the colored rain palette. If you know which one I'm talking about, you probably don't. It's like the Safari maybe or the Sahara. Or it's a rainforest looking one too, okay? If you know what, I, what I'm talking about, you know what one I'm talking about. Um, that's what I'm going to say about it. It's really beautiful. I definitely consider buying this one too. 18 shades for $36, that's two, about $2 a shade. That's pretty great. Um, it's beautiful, I like it, and that's all I have to say. We've made it to the end of this video and thank God because <laughs> I feel like I'm in a sauna, it's actually disgusting, and I've also ordered pizza, so I'm so excited to go eat that. Um, once again, shout out to Emily Hanhan and Teresa is Dead for creating this collab. They are so creative, so beautiful. I love them both. Um, I know it might seem like I'm exaggerating, and I don't know, some people say I seem sarcastic sometimes when I'm not, but I really do love them. They're so beautiful. Go check them out, um, but if you found your way here, you obviously know them or you're just lost and that's okay sometimes to be lost so thank you for joining me on this adventure through new makeup releases and let me know if you've answered any of the questions that i've had throughout my video because i always have a lot of questions and i always love talking to other people who love makeup because i don't have a lot of them around me in my active life i mostly have friends who aren't that interested in makeup which is totally fine but i'd also love to like you know, interact more with people who do love makeup. So if you're one of those people, come talk to me. I'm not scary, I don't think. <laughs> Sometimes I can be if I'm hungry, but I'm trying not to be <laughs> thinking about my pizza. So thanks for watching. Thanks, Emily Hanhan. Thanks, Teresa is dead, and I'll see you later.